Hello, welcome. I hope you're having your fine day. In here we are, just about to discuss motors and electrical components available on the Tesla Model X. Let's start with the basics. An electrical powertrain for a car is composed of an AC motor, reduction gear, AC controller, battery pack and charger. Now battery packs. This chart should summarize configurations available all around the world. Those numbers are expressing how many kilowatts hour you have available from the battery pack. Think of a reservoir. More kilowatt hour means more reserve. When speaking about electrical components, kilowatt hour is the way you express energy extracted from electricity and kilowatt alone is the way you express power extracted from electricity. The main difference between energy and power is that energy is a reserve of some sort of fuel or capacity. It's sitting still until you need it. And power is really the rate at which the remaining energy is being used. Let's take an example. Say your home's electricity bill comes in a value of kilowatt hour. Well, imagine the electricity supplier is nothing else than a big, big, gigantic battery reserve. They basically calculate how much kilowatt hour you are draining from their supply and they send you a bill each month. The rate at which a fridge drains electricity is faster than, say, a light bulb. So a modern fridge will be rated at around 0.3 kilowatts and a light bulb 0.004 kilowatts. So if you had one kilowatt hour remaining of reserve to share between a fridge and a light bulb, you may run both for about three hours total. Keep that in mind. We'll need it a little bit later. So battery pack on the Tesla Model X since around October 2016, the 60 kilowatt hour battery is no longer available. You still get to choose between 75, 90 or 100 kilowatt hour. Although since 2017, the P90D is no longer available and replaced by the 100D. The more the better, but also the more expensive it gets. The best option for you will depend on how much you think you are going to drive in one day. We'll discuss mileage and autonomy a little bit later. Now, to take advantage of a well-built battery pack, you also need sophisticated motors and electrical components to be able to efficiently use the energy available without draining energy at a high rate of power. That may not be a problem. See. Electrical motors are not a new technology. They pretty much existed ever since the beginning of industrial manufacturing. So all around the world, we had more than a century to master, optimize, and revolutionize electrical motors. By the way, Tesla uses what is called an AC motor. The one that invented AC motors is called Nikola Tesla. So, well, I guess that's where the name come from. Let's take a break here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back very shortly. Want to be healthy? You want to feel healthy? Eat fruits. There are many kinds for every taste. If you don't really know how, well, you can check up this channel. You'll learn how. It is he who sends down water from the sky with which he brings up corn, olives, dates, grapes, and other fruit. So, God, the provider for all, we thank you for every fresh, tasty fruit you ever provided us. You know, it's good to thank God, and if you don't believe in God, I beg you to at least thank whatever was the cause for your apple to appear on the same planet you are on. Welcome back to the show. We were just about to open the trunk on this Chevy Corvair. I have no clue why. Let's see. Unlike engines, multiple independent small and medium-sized enterprise make motors all over the world, from Italia, UK, Germany, China, you name it. The industry basically masters electrical motors. This is an alternator, 
and this is an engine. By the way, there is a very little difference between alternator and motors except for how they are optimized to do a particular job. But in an automobile which isn't plugged in a wall all day, the main challenge is to strike perfect balance between how much energy you want to save and how much power you want to deliver. Using a high rate of energy means more power, more torque and perhaps more fun, but also means the battery drains faster. Using too low power will get you where you want with plenty of battery reserve, but you'll have to avoid luggages, passengers and punctuality. So what kind of motors run in a Tesla Model X? Not much different than what you'll find in any heavy duty machinery, like this one. This machine is used to compress clothes together and squeeze them as much as possible in order to save maximum space in a container, here to basically send clothes to Africa for business. So if you take a closer look to the electrical motor running this machine, you'll see it right here, small, simple and clean. By clean, I mean no oil, no leaks and no grease. This motor provides 70 tons of force using only 7.8 kilowatt of power. If you try and use the Tesla Model X's 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, which one day you'll apparently be able to, you will run this machine for 7.7 .7 hours straight. But since this machine is plugged to a wall, and the wall basically unlike a battery provides unlimited energy, you run unlimited hours. Here are approximations on how motors in a Tesla Model X are rated. The source where I got those numbers from might not be fully genuine, but nonetheless, those numbers make sense. Anyway, let's assume a 290 kilowatt motor, which was almost accurate for rear wheel drive Teslas. The main idea is, it seems like a big difference compared with that machine. At least 35 times more powerful. I think 7.8 kilowatt might have been enough to get the Tesla moving, maybe, but again, since average people want to drive fast, carrying family, friends and luggages, well, I guess 35 times more powerful is a necessity. This motor also regenerates power to charge the battery as soon as you let off the speed pedal. To understand how that happens, basically, when you're pressing on the speed pedal, you are sending electricity to the motor which is then transforming that energy into mechanical movement of the wheels. By releasing the speed pedal, you are cutting feeds to the motor, but the wheels are still spinning. They are still connected to the motor which means at that moment the wheels are powering the motor. This mechanical energy therefore is brought back by the motor into electrical energy and stored in the battery. Why does it work? It's basically a fundamental law in electricity. The way the motor is built, in this application it has to regenerate electricity. If you want to know more about AC motors, how they work and how they are made, you can click on this video, there is also a demonstration included. So that's it for this episode, it's not the end yet, I think there's at least one or two more episodes, and well, I'll see you in the next one. I'll thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. Whether you're looking to buy or to be entertained by nice car footage, I suggest you subscribe and scroll to the channel, there are many things which discusses many cars. Thank you, take care and goodbye.